Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is literally pissing it down. The sun was just shining. Got my bikini on. I was about to go uh, to the beach, had a shower, um, and the heavens have opened. So uh, we might have to do this inside. And I need to put some clothes on because there was no beach day today. Maybe later. The sun's supposed to be out later. What is this? Wow! Oh my god! Well, that was a bit of a dramatic start to the video. I mean, it happened on the last one. Why is there always like something? That's kind of just my life. I promise I don't plan it. <laughs> it wasn't that dramatic, was it? It was just a bit of rain. Anyway, hi guys and welcome back to the channel and hello to everybody new here. We are over 20,000 subscribers. Can't actually believe it. I actually can't. That is such a huge milestone. So, um, yeah thank you so so much i appreciate each and every single one of you the bigger the channel gets the bigger the adventures get and the more i can put content out and it just really means the world so thank you again feel free to introduce yourself in the comments i'd love to get to know you guys so i'm just sat here inside in the rain i was planning on being outside i was gonna have a nice breakfast in the sun because it was sunny and just have a chilled morning and then go out um, I think I'm still gonna go out. I think the sun will be here in a couple of hours So we'll just have to just sit in the van. I am currently down in Cornwall surprise surprise and I was on just a little road. I was just road tripping around yesterday driving here there and everywhere trying to explore some new places And I was in a place called St. Just I think it's called near Cape Cornwall and I stumbled across an antique shop and Tom loves just like clutter so i thought i would treat him and yeah where is it so here it is this is uh the sword the um cutler that i got for tom from the antique shop it is apparently the guy said it was like 1800 so um yeah interesting pretty cool huh got my tea and now it's time for breakfast because do you know what even the rain can't stop us. We are going to head out. The plan for today is the Minak Theatre. Has anyone been there before? I haven't been in. I have been down to Porthcurno and walked past and it looks insane. And the shows look just incredible. What a location to have a show. So um, we're not watching a show. We, me, us. <laughs> um, we are going to just go for a day out and have a walk around. Um, hopefully it will be sunny. And then I'm going to go to a beach I've been desperate to go to for a long, long time. It's called Padine, P Padine Vounder Beach. Padine Vounder Beach, I think that's what it's called. So um, people say it's like the best beach in the UK and it does look it by pictures. So I'm excited to see it, but I probably won't bother if it stays like this. But we'll see because beans, I'm down here. It would be good to go and see it and go for some nice coastal walks. Anyway, what am I doing? What's wrong with me? I'm gonna make myself some oats, so. So I am actually just gonna let that um, soak in for about 10 minutes and then gobble it all up. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna just get ready. Um, I've checked the weather forecast. It looks like it's gonna clear up in about two hours. So I'm just gonna have my breakfast and then do some work on my phone and then head down to the Minak Theatre. So, see you there. So I've made it to the Minak Theatre. Check out this view. Just wow. It's Padine Vonda Beach. Porthcano Beach. Got the stage down there. So I've just walked a bit further down and it's incredible. I am so putting this on my list places to watch a show. Imagine watching a show here at the sunset with these views. I mean like, wow. So this is the seating area. There's the stage where they perform. And just check out that view. I guess rain would be a problem. Like if it's raining, do they still continue the show? Do I have an umbrella probably? I don't know. I guess here's some of the shows that they've had on over the years. Do you know what? I don't even know if there's that much history here. I think 
it's not actually like it looks like it would be historic i think it's actually quite new like only like in the past 50 years maybe i'll actually have a look in a minute and find out but i really don't think it's that old but let's go further down just look at that beach so everybody raves about this beach Pudin Vonda Vonda it's got like a sand bank so when the tide goes out it just looks incredible the tide's coming in so it kind of just looks like the same as Port Kerno which is still stunning but I think we're gonna head over there in a minute okay so if you're on stage here this is where you'll be stood right here and there is your audience how cool and then behind you is that so cool i'm gonna have to book a show here so i've had a lovely walk around the minak theatre it is very beautiful and i think the shows here would be just incredible for you know the art and the views but um yeah it's not as old as i thought it was i thought there'd be a bit more history it looks really cool but um yeah it's nice i would recommend coming here but i wouldn't really be doing my job properly if i didn't give like a, a proper review where's my drink like this can costs three pounds do you know what i mean it's kind of one of those tourist traps so um yeah just bring a packed lunch if you can have a day here because things like this will just cost you a fortune food and like a cake and a drink cost me like nine quid so but yeah look at the views i'm gonna head over to that beach now so let's head over so i'm walking towards padeen bounder now and it's a little bit of a walk about five ten minutes from the car park it's kind of uh it's been raining all day so it's a little bit stodgy look at me and my crocs i've completely ditched my hiking boots because i nearly broke my neck in them last week they're so slippy they don't grip onto anything so do you know what i'd rather go barefoot I'm just trying to figure out which way to go I'd rather go barefoot or my Crocs. I don't know, we'll get something like to do some wellies, but um, for now, it's Crocs. Absolutely shameless. Wow! I've come a bit further up. Guys, check out this view. Oh my gosh. Wow! I don't know if you can tell, but there's a couple naked people down there because this is a nude beach so i will be heading down here not today so keep your eyes peeled for future videos because i am gonna definitely get down to this nude beach because this doesn't even look like the uk are you joking me what is this how is this in cornwall wow so i have just been sat here for a little while taking in the views i can't believe how beautiful the weather is um, compared to earlier it feels like I'm sat in, I don't know, Caribbean or something. It just looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, what the hell? So yeah, I've been here for a while. Probably will head off soon because the sun will start to set. Um, probably should watch the sunset really. I think it's gonna go behind us, um, not over the sea. So I'm gonna head off. Uh, I will head down to the beach another time, not today, because the tide's coming in anyway. So, time to shoot bye naked man so i i have ended up in hail of all places when i left uh, land's end i just thought i'm just gonna go up the coast a little bit so it's only like 45 minutes away and i think i'm gonna stay here again tonight because i really like it so it wouldn't be a stalky video without a dip um, and i haven't really been in for a while well it's probably been a couple weeks but i'm craving a nice cold dip so this is uh, like North Quay in Hale and there it is and you've got Terrence Beach over there see the waves breaking and this is nice and calm crystal clear hopefully that is not sewage I think it's just uh, sea foam anyway I'm gonna get changed this is how we do it I remember the days where you'd have to like hold a towel up and just hope no one had a little flash of you. Like gone are the days. One of those days with these pretty tiny waves. Really? 
Okay, I'm ready. What do you think of my new suit? Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Right, that was cold. I mean, when was the last time I got in? I don't know if it's because we're like on the north coast. That's freezing. Okay. This definitely feels colder than it, what I'm used to. I don't know if I'm just out of the habit. It feels freezing. But I'm gonna get my face in because it always makes me feel alive. You wanna come under with me? I'll probably look disgusting. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold my nose. Okay, ready? Right, there, guys, let's do this together. One, two, three. <gasps> Now that was super invigorating. You just can't be a cold water swim. You always feel amazing afterwards, even though I really struggled to get in. You guys need to try it. But um, it's raining now, so I'm gonna get inside before I get wet, even though I've just dried off. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you again so much for 20,000 subscribers. Can't believe it. And I'll see you in the next video where I will be in a different country with the van. So can anyone guess where it might be? Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you next week. Love you guys.